Hiya Grace Kids! How have you been this week? I hope you all enjoyed last week's video. I know we sure had a fun time making it. Gosh, it's been some time uh, since our family, my family, has played musical chairs together. But yeah, that was fun. Hey, I hope you're using this opportunity that God has given us to stay home with each other and not be running in a million different directions. I hope you're using this time to connect with your family. You can do things like play games, play outside together, maybe kick the soccer ball around, build some blanket forts, I don't know, maybe do a jigsaw puzzle together. Just use this time to connect with your family. So today, we're going to start off with a song that I know you all know, and I think you all really like it too. So let's have some fun with it, and here we go. The fruit of the spirit's not a coconut. Fruit of the spirit's not a coconut. If you want to be a coconut, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit's not a banana. The fruit of the spirit's not a banana. You want to be a banana? You might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love and joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit's not a watermelon. The fruit of the spirit's not a watermelon. You want to be a watermelon. You might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, because the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love and joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit's not a lemon. The fruit of the spirit is not a lemon. If you want to be a lemon, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, because the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Oh, the fruit of the spirit is not a cherry. The fruit of the spirit is not a cherry. If you want to be a cherry, you might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, because the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Okay, everybody knows that grapes come in bunches, so everybody get in big bunches. The fruit of the spirit's not a grape. The fruit of the spirit's not a grape. You want to be a grape? You might as well hear it. You can't be a fruit of the spirit, cause the fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. The fruit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, and self-control. Hey, so this week we are beginning the celebration of Easter. In fact, today is called Palm Sunday. That is if you're watching this video on Sunday. Um, Palm Sunday is actually the first day in the week we know as Holy Week, which is also Easter week. It was on this day about 2,000 years ago that Jesus was walking with his disciples towards Jerusalem. When they came upon the towns of Bethphage and Bethany, which are near the Mount of Olives, Jesus called two of his disciples over and said, Hey guys, in that next village over there, there's a young donkey. I want you to go and bring him to me. If anybody asks you why you are taking the donkey, just tell them that the Lord has need of it. So the disciples did as Jesus asked, and they brought the donkey to him. When they got there, the disciples threw their cloaks or their garments over the donkey's back, kind of to act like a saddle or, a, you know, like a blanket so that Jesus could ride on him. So uh, Jesus got on the donkey's back and he was riding into Jerusalem. And as they got closer and closer, more crowds started to form along the streets. 
And the people were shouting, they were praising Jesus, and they were shouting out, Glory to God in the highest. Hosanna, blessed is the king who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. Well, they were creating such a stir that the religious leaders of the day didn't like it at all. And the religious leaders told Jesus, you better make them be quiet. You know what Jesus said to them? If I tell them to be quiet, even the stones will cry out. Well, today, I brought some stones with me. I wonder what they would say if they were to cry out. I think this stone might tell about a little shepherd boy named David who used a small stone to slay a huge giant to show us that we can do anything when God is with us. I think this stone might tell us about Elijah, who used a stone, or many stones, to build an altar to God. The altar was used to offer a sacrifice to show everyone that God is the one true God. I think maybe this stone would tell us about Solomon. Solomon used stones to build the temple so that all the people could come and worship God. Still, this rock might remind us that Jesus once told a story about a man who built his house on the rock. And when the storms came, the winds, the waves, his house stood firm because it was built on the rock and not the sand. Yes, these stones might have a lot of stories to tell, but we won't let them. Just as the followers of Jesus were praising him and shouting out praises to God, you and I are here today to praise our king. As long as we praise him, there's no need for these stones to shout out. So let's say a little prayer, and then we're going to sing a song of praise to Jesus. Dear Lord, we know that you would rather hear us praise you than to have a rock concert. So Lord, we lift your name on high. Amen. So we're going to sing a song of praise to Jesus now. I didn't make up hand motions for it, but that's something that you guys can do. Be creative and have fun with it. So here we go.
today's lesson by telling you that today is Palm Sunday. It's called Palm Sunday because when Jesus was riding on that donkey toward Jerusalem and all the people were shouting and praising his name, they were waving palm branches. That was a Sunday. By Thursday, Jesus was arrested and by Friday, he was hanging on the cross paying the penalty for our sin. This is kind of hard for some of us to understand, so let me show you like this. When Jesus died on the cross, what does that mean for you? Let's imagine it this way. You are a penny. No matter how hard we try to be good, all of us have done bad things. We call this sin, and we are drowning in sin. It's really hard for us to get out on our own. So that's why we need a rescuer. This rescuer is Jesus. Jesus came to be the light. He lived a perfect life. And then he died on the cross. That amazing act of love of Jesus dying on the cross takes our sins away. If we accept Jesus and ask for his forgiveness, he will forgive us for all of our sins. They are gone forever, just like the water is gone from the plate. We are no longer drowning in our sins. That is what Easter is all about.